Yeah, hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. <laughs> Toxicity. Oh, it seems to me that every other video is sharing replays of toxic players nowadays. Oh, don't worry. I'm not about to do the same thing. You're not going to see toxic player replays here. You're just going to see replays merely to keep you entertained. I actually want to discuss toxicity, but I want to explore if it really can be defeated. But before we look at that, we need to understand a few home truths. Toxicity itself exists because of the players, not because of the game and not because of wargaming. No matter how much we try to look for ways to blame them. It's we, the players, who decide to be toxic for whatever reason. I have heard, incorrectly, that Blitz is the most toxic game out there, which just simply isn't true. From what I understand, all multiplayer based games are toxic as heck, and Blitz is no exception. Look, my 11 year old doesn't play Blitz, actually don't let him, but just the other day when we were driving to rugby practice. Somebody cut me up on the road and he screamed at this person, what an autistic retard! I mean, these are words he actually doesn't understand. Not really. And he doesn't play Blitz, nor does he watch Blitz videos. So where did he get these terms from? Well, he got them from watching YouTube videos on games he likes, such as Fortnite. And ironically, he picked up the terms from the actual YouTuber, not from the actual game. Go figure. As I said, multiplayer games are generally toxic because anonymity allows players to say things and essentially get away with it. Toxicity, in my view, falls into three types. There are those being toxic because, well, they're just dicks looking for attention. There are, and secondly, there are those looking to blame others for their own inadequacies. And finally, there are those frustrated or lashing out at those being toxic towards them. But how do you effectively combat this? Wow, many argue that the chat should just be removed. Thus penalising everybody, even those who aren't toxic, in order to prevent those who are. I mean, that's not right. There are far more decent players in this game who are very rarely toxic, as opposed to those who are. So why should the majority be penalised? Multiplayer games are meant to be social, and if the chat is removed, then the social element is also removed. Now I get that players abuse the chat with toxic nonsense, but I think if we ignore these players, then we deny them that the attention that they seek. That in itself has the effect of taking the wind out of their sails. By all means report them after the game. Just don't give them the platform they desire. Obviously, it's easier to say than do. I mean, when someone is toxic and that toxicity is directed at you, the will to resist increases. But why should you stoop to their level? If we deny them, if we act better than they are, then surely we will win in the end. By all means, ask the rest of your team to report them. Just don't engage directly with the toxic player, because that's exactly what they're after. And all we do by engaging them is add fuel to their fire. If we ignore them, if we refuse to engage them directly, then, like all bullies, they deflate. Now, I'm not a great fan of removing chat in order to prevent a very few a platform, because I like saying hello in such. However, I am a big fan of once you're dead, remove your ability to chat. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, you already have the ability to use the buttons, the auto chat. That, that's taken away from you once you're dead. So just remove chat completely once you're dead. And believe me, the toxicity levels will go down sooner than you think. I also think wargaming do need to do more on the punishment side. I mean, a few days chat ban isn't going to do anything other than give space to the toxic person to think of new and inventive ways to be toxic. 
I think toxic players should have a minimal and meaningful chat ban of, say, one month. And if repeated, that increases to three months. And for a third offence, perma chat ban them. Many argue that that puts the team at a disadvantage because the ban player can't use the auto chat buttons. But I really doubt those who are serially toxic players use the auto chat buttons anyway. And if they do, all they do is spam those buttons. Deny them the platform. Deny them the audience. And then the actual ability to be toxic reduces. And before you know it, maybe, just maybe, toxicity will be combated. It will go down without penalising those who happen to follow the rules and are not toxic. With toxicity going down, those players who fall into the third category, those who are frustrated or lashing out at those being toxic, also decreases. That's not a bad thing, surely. At the end of the day, there are always going to be attention-seeking dicks. There's no escaping that. And unfortunately, social-type platforms tend to be more negative than positive, allowing people who would normally not say boo to a goose to suddenly become Rambo and grow balls bigger than an elephant. Personally, I pity such people. Because in the real world, if they said some of the stuff they say in the game, the only person who benefits is the dentist, because repeated smacks to the mouth has serious consequences on the teeth. Blitz is not the most toxic. It's just one of many, because being toxic is the norm. And that in itself is a sad reflection of our current social interactions. My advice? Let's ignore these total muppets. Report them and put pressure on wargaming to make the punishments exactly that. A punishment. And before you know it, toxicity will go down. And make sure you remove the ability to chat once the player is dead. How hard can that be? Anyway, I've been Fujit. That's been a, my little take on toxicity. Just stir the debate. Wrap up some cages. By all means, comment and everything below. Let me know your thoughts. And until the next time, guys, remember, it's a game. So stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because at the end of the day, well, that's what it's all about. Having fun and being happy. And guys, don't give these toxic dicks the platform they seek. Just ignore them. Deny them. That's what I say.